Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code in Exiles video. Today we are in the Eastern Desert, in the grassy hills area between the desert and the jungle, west of the eastern sand-swept ruins building Dragon's Reach, the seat of the Jarl of Whiterun from Skyrim. This build was suggested by Polar on my Discord for his birthday, so happy birthday Polar, hope you enjoy the build my man. Whilst I talk a bit about the build, let's get right into it. Now, as you've probably seen in the title, this is a speed build, for the same reason that Kaer Morin was a speed build, seeing as this is a pretty large project that would otherwise take up a lot of time, were it not in this format. Now, I'm sure we're all familiar with Skyrim and the Castle of Dragon's Reach, and if not, why? It's a fairly typical Nord design in terms of the architecture, and features a lot of very earthly textures in terms of wood and stone, which is something I wanted to replicate in this build. However, due to the technical limitations of building within Conan Exiles, as with Kaer Morin, a perfect replica is pretty much impossible, so take this as more of an interpretation, I guess? Anyway, I decided to use the stone for the base of the castle, using wood within a perimeter of stone for the floor. I tried my best to replicate the style of the reference images you can see on screen now by using wood on the front sections of the build, with a large stone section towards the back. I also chose to use Terranian rooftop pieces as I felt they probably best fit the texture that I could see, however thatch could also work, there's just a chance it might look a bit too weak, hence why I went with Terranian. I ended up having to modify lots of the build from the original Dragon's Reach, cutting down the size of the basement, removing the staircase down within the left side room, creating a fairly budget version of the entranceway details, and sadly having to omit most of the architectural beams within the hall itself, seeing as you just can't kinda do that stuff within Conan Exiles, at least not that I know of. As I mentioned earlier, it's pretty much an interpretation. This build is created entirely with base game and some DLC items within the decoration, so this build is entirely so this build is entirely able to be replicated on console if you so wished. I would have liked to decorate this build with mods, however due to the recent title update for the Riders of Hyboria DLC, none of the mods that I run really work properly at this moment, as is usually the case after DLC updates. Any PC players that use mods will already know this pain. So I think that pretty much covers everything I have to say about this build, so sit back, take a sip of your caffeinated boiled bean water and enjoy.
When the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Heading up the stairs of the build, I've lit the build with mostly bracketed torches and braziers, so as to get a nice warm lighting throughout the build without any overbearing brightness. Braziers are plentiful within Dragon's Reach, so they make sense for this build. Entering the doors at the front of the build, the interior is, in my opinion, far more impressive than the exterior. The atmosphere definitely feels like a warm Nordic hall, with the actual shape and design of the interior matching the original source material somewhat fairly closely. I've placed some guards around the build, along with the Jarl at his throne with Lydia by his side, and Farangar within his quarters on the right hand side. Heading down the stairs on the left hand side of the main hall, we have the small prison area beneath the ground floor. As I said earlier, this unfortunately couldn't be made as extensive as it is within the original in Skyrim, but it still fits the general purpose of this area quite well. The second floor offers access to the Great Porch, and the walkways above the hall, which offers a nice overhead view of the extensive ground floor. And there we have it, Skyrim's Dragon's Reach within Conan Exiles, within the eastern hills of the Exiled Lands. Thanks for watching and thanks to Polar for the suggestion, I hope you had a great birthday. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos, as usual anything is welcome.
Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. And if you'd like to support the future of this channel, the link to my Patreon is also in the description below. With various tiers and rewards including special Discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos, your name at the end of videos and more. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday throughout December, so if you enjoy what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.